What is going on guys? It's me CNP and I'm back with another 2k23 next gen build video video is going to be maybe something you're not used to seeing in this video. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you why you should not be making a big man any height other than six foot nine, not any shorter, not any taller six foot nine. If you learned something from this video, do me a favor and drop a like and a sub. Last week's video, I asked for 50 likes and we didn't quite get there. Maybe we can get there this week. That's enough rambling. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So what you're looking at here is a traditional big man center build in 2K23. When I made this build, I had a couple of attribute caps that I wanted to meet. Any good big man is going to be able to play paint defense, grab rebounds, finish in the paint when needed. So we max out his defensive rebounding, sorry, his offensive rebounding as well as his block to a 99. We gave him a high interior defense. We gave him a high driving dunk, a good standing dunk. And basically everything on this build is at a certain level for a reason. Now I optimize this build so that you get the most bang for your buck when it comes to attribute levels and badges. I'm not gonna go through everything in this video, but you're just gonna have to trust me. Everything that you see on this build is there for a reason in order to get you the most value. And quite frankly, this build is not actually that bad. Uh, he can't shoot, which means he can't stretch the floor, but everything else he can do exceptionally well. Now we can do a quick badge count of 20 finishing, zero shooting, nine playmaking, and 32 defensive with max physicals as well. Like I said, I usually max out my physicals on all my builds. I think they're really important. And continue on to takeovers. All you can get is rim protecting and glass cleaning takeovers. I usually go with a mixture of the two. You can double up if you'd like, but I liked having the hybrid. But we get the shades of Clint Capella, Bill Russell, and Rudy Gobert. Build name is the defensive anchor. Now, as good as that build is, I think we can do much better. And I'm going to show you why I think six foot nines are just all around much better in every category. Uh, we are going to go with the same weight. Obviously, we're going to go max wingspan. I, I didn't really mention that on the last build, but we were 235 with a max wingspan. Uh, cannot get the same 7 foot 10 wingspan that the 7 footer does have, but uh, this is the absolute farthest we can go, the longest we can go on his wingspan. So let's go ahead and continue, and I'm just going to go ahead and transfer over all of the same attributes so we're going to take his close shot up to an 81 driving layup up to a 79 driving dunk up to an 86 standing dunk up to an 80 and post control up to a 59 there we go uh mid-range is going to be a 41 free throw is going to be a 65 65 pass accuracy is going to be a 75 this gets you the lebron james passing styles Interior defense is going to be a 90. Perimeter defense is going to be a 67. Steel is going to be a 70. And again, I'm just copying exactly what we had on our other build on a six foot nine build. Uh, defensive rebounding is going to be a 92. Speed is going to be a 73. Acceleration is going to be a 66. I already know what you guys are thinking. Trust me, we're gonna fix it here in a second. Vertical, sorry, strengths 84, vertical an 85, and our stamina is going to be a 90. And look at this, we are only a 95 overall out of a 99. Sorry, 91 stamina, still, still a 95 overall. Uh, so right off the bat, we have a lot of room to work with. Now, as mentioned previously, I do like to max my physicals and the fact that you are six foot nine, you can be much faster than a 73. We are going to bump that up to a 79. Acceleration, I'm also gonna go ahead and max out. Strength and vertical, we are going to leave as it is for now and we will come back to it. But I'd like to revisit the finishing category. Now, what's optimized for one height might not be the same for another height might get different badge points at different levels of attributes so we are going to kind of rework this a little bit we're actually going to take a close shot up to an, a close shot up to an 85 it's going to give us an extra badge point his driving layup we are going to take up by one is going to give him his 20th badge point his driving dunk we are going to take up by one as well it's going to actually give him 21 finishing and we are going to take his standing dump dunk up to an 82 which is going to give him 22 
badges 22 finishing badges and as far as the post control you could take it up and leave it at a 52 to give him that 20 20 second finishing badge for me it was not worth it i took this down to a 26 which 26 is the rating for me because of the strength app so post control is related to strength we're going to take that strength up to an 86 that's also going to give us the ability to get gold brick wall uh which is you know solid for pick and rolls obviously pick and roll offense is important in a 5v5 setting um so right off the bat we already have one more finishing badge than the previous build and look at our ratings our ratings are much higher low shot is higher driving layup is higher by one driving dunk is higher by one and driving or sorry standing dunk is higher by two obviously we lost the post control but you know we're we're six foot nine we're not gonna be posting up like that now moving on we are going to leave uh mid-range sorry mid-range is going to stay at a 45 free throw is going to stay at a 65 pass accuracy is going to go up to a 78 which is going to give us our ninth playmaking badge which is the same that we had on our other build however we have a higher pass accuracy now so it did take more attributes to get that ninth playmaking badge but we have a higher attribute rating now we have a higher pass accuracy rating so there's there's you know it's give and take obviously interior defense we're going to actually lower this down to an 88 uh this is the lowest we can go while maintaining gold post lockdown which is actually a really good badge uh that i kind of slept on early on in the 2k23 season or 2k23 career i guess year of 2k23 i don't know what it, whatever you want to call it uh, perimeter defense we're going to max at an 86 and steel we are going to max at a 90 and look at that we have 32 defensive badges same as the other seven foot build the seven foot defensive anchor however now we can play insane perimeter defense we have an insane steel rating that's going to get us gold interceptor and we're still not done we still have more we still have more attribute points to assign so here's the thing if you prioritize badge count at all times and with this extra one overall point, you can go in here and throw it on ball handling. You will get an extra playmaking badge. I don't think this build needs it. This build is not meant to have the ball in his hands unless he is catching a lob or down low, finishing, whatever, maybe catching a backdoor cut, whatever it may be. So nine playmaking badges is absolutely plenty. For me, what I would do is just come down here, throw it on vertical. You are six foot nine. You are going to need an extra little bit of a vertical to maybe out rebound some players that are taller than you maybe that seven footer that we just made uh maybe that's your matchup but i promise you if you have good positioning you are going to still get rebounds that leaves us with just a little bit left we'll just go ahead and throw it on stamina you can throw it on stamina you can throw it on speed with ball i guess it would be you know you're, you're not going to get anything extra out of this really it's 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 better to just probably put it on stamina and call it a day we will go ahead and continue on. We can get now lock takeovers as well as the other two takeovers that we had previously. Paint intimidation, box out wall, all the glass cleaning, all the rim protecting takeovers. However, I'm not 100% sure you guys can let me know in the comments. Does defensive takeover boost your physicals? Or glass cleaning takeover, does it boost your physicals? I know lock takeover boosts your speed, which could be really useful on a build that is not quite at an 80 speed uh we could double up on lock takeovers it's going to give us i believe it's like plus 16 to speed uh when we have both of our takeovers so we'll go ahead and finish the build and here you see we have the comparisons of ben wallace clint capella robert williams third clint capella was one of the uh comparisons we got before the glass cleaning lockdown so it does change the name a little bit in my opinion defensive anchor is probably the cooler name quote unquote but this build can just do so much more so we've covered why you don't want to go any taller than six foot nine let's quickly touch on why you shouldn't go any shorter though and it's quite simple really look at your tier three finishing badges limitless takeoff becomes a tier three badge one of if not the best finishing badge in the game uh, really offensive badge in the game is now tier three and I wouldn't recommend having this many finishing badges on a build that's six foot eight if you are six foot eight and you cannot shoot I don't know if that build is worth making what I would probably do is sacrifice finishing down to an 80 driving dunk 
Uh, this is going to give you your quick drops. Maybe take your close shot down as well, like a 75. Also standing dunk on a six foot eight player. I don't know if that's the smartest thing in the world, so we'll actually take that down as well, uh, as low as we can while maintaining our vertical. I don't know the exact vertical ratings. We'll probably take this actually up to like a 90, just so we can, uh, you know, obviously sky over people that are taller than us. Also, we'll go ahead and bump up our physicals just a little bit as well, because we can do that now and maybe put the rest on to three point shot, 76 three ball. Realistically, you'd probably want to get to like a, a 79, which is Oscar Robertson's release, which is a really cheesy release. Uh, you got an extra little bit on pass accuracy there. We're kind of getting away from the point of the video. The point is six foot nine is absolutely the best height for any lock build, whether you can shoot, whether you can, can finish. It is without a doubt the best, the best all around height for a big man build. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you learned something from this video, drop a like, drop a sub. Again, let's try and get this video to 50 likes. If we do, I'll do another video next week. Let's be honest, I'll probably be doing another video next week regardless. That being said, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, peace, peace.